Hi, I'm here with Vlad Marginov, the CEO of Yota Devices himself, and he will present us the all new Yota phone uh, here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Thanks for doing that. Thank you. Okay, what's new compared to the old, uh, old uh, Yota phone of the first one? What have you changed? Well, we present today uh, the, next the prototype, the first prototype of the next generation Yota phone. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's a bigger screen. Uh, it used to be 4.3 uh, in the new generation, it will be 4.7, electronic paper display. Uh, in addition, it's a full touch uh, display, so it makes uh, the navigation of always on display much more intuitive and uh, interactive. Uh, also, you can turn the, the phone uh, uh, into the power saving mode where you can do basic functions, uh, accepting the call, making calls, doing text messaging, uh, responding to emails um, in a way that the phone lasts much longer because it consumes less power. Um, and, and by the way, as you can see, the phone is uh, one millimeter slimmer and on the front we have five inch AMOLED display uh, with much better resolution than in the first generation and, uh, and um, also uh, we managed to introduce wireless charging, NFC and much, much more powerful battery. So, uh, let me tell you a few, few words about user cases. Uh, you can do. For example, if you open Internet Hub and pick up Facebook and put it on the back, now you not just see in front of your eyes all new posts on the Facebook, but you can immediately interact with the Facebook by putting likes with one touch or dislike uh, the certain posts and also in terms of notifications if you have notifications like here uh, popping up uh, on your phone now you can open notification and see details of certain messages and respond back to this so that's just a few scenarios what we can do with the phone and uh, let me see uh, you have a task list for example and uh, you put it on the back and now by just one touch you can change uh, the task from completed to another uncompleted level or vice versa. Okay, thanks for that. And when will this device come to at least to Europe or to the world markets? Can you tell well, us? To, to Germany and to several European countries it will come at the end of this year. Okay, just one year after the other, there will yeah. be a new phone, of course. I think it's uh, okay. Q4. Q4, all right. And I do not dare to ask the price, right? Well, the price is actually uh, quite early to mention, but, but we, we, we are targeting to make sure the price will not be higher than the price from other Android smartphone suppliers, uh, which means uh, um, if it, during the launch date, uh, the price for big uh, brand smartphones from Samsung, uh, Nokia, and um, HTC and others, uh, our phone will be either the same price or slightly lower. Okay, that's a good news because I found the first Yota phone a little bit too expensive for the display size and you know, so you react on this. Do I see that Yeah, right? but we, uh, nobody has second display, second always on display, and unique user cases uh, and uh, that's the biggest advantage of Yota phone. All right, great, thanks. Yeah, By sorry? The way, there is a specification of this phone uh, is very powerful. It's a quad-core uh, chipset from uh, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 uh, Series 800. It's uh, Gorilla Glass on the both side. Uh, it's 2500 milliampere uh, battery and uh, so uh, we're quite proud of, uh, of the technical specification of the next generation of Yota phone, which I'm sure will be very competitive at the end of this year. All right, great. So good luck for that one and thanks for having us. Thank you.